Hi, welcome back to the Infinite Grenade Launcher Podcast. Today we're going to take a nice seat in Tim's Retro Gaming Corner. Can't wait. Hey everybody, welcome back to the IGL Podcast. I'm your host, Justin Gentile. And I am also your host, Timothy McGorry. And what are we here for, Tim? Listen, I think we all know what we're here for. <gasps> Squam on the wheel! Tim's Retro Gaming Corner! Dun, 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 dun. And, oh, but watch this, though. Watch this. Wait, really what? quick. What, uh, Look at my hand, though. What? Oh, what? Don't touch it! Yes. That cost uh, $50,000. Uh, it's all in post, baby. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That, your donations are paying off, though, folks. So, Keep sending us those donations. You can see we're putting it right back into our production. Enough of Justin's mouth. It's time for... No, I'm just kidding. It's, um... This is, uh... I brought up these games, the games that I'm going to be reviewing today. I brought them up in one of our earlier podcasts. You can go back and check it out. Uh, Might have been the first one, I believe, where we talked about our different gaming histories. I mentioned what my favorite games were. Uh... That perfect crustacean of nostalgic. And since it's been about, like, over 20 years, I feel like that f- that falls into the retro gaming category. So, uh, first up... It's been 20 uh, years since our first episode? First game! Oh, yeah. I think oh, it's been 20 years. Since our first episode? It's been 20 Time years. Time is an illusion. Guys, Lunchtime, doubly so. Thanks for supporting us for 20 years. The, um, the first game we're going to talk about is King's Quest VI, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. A pattern will emerge as we keep talking about these games. But it's a point-and-click adventure, and you start the game uh, tasked with the charge of going to uh, meet your princess, and then you wake up, there's a terrible ship storm. All your ships are like, it's too wet. There's too much rain in the sky. There's too much water in the ocean. Ugh. And you wake up on a beach, and you have to you have to put your life together. You have to figure out everything. It's it, what I like about those games is that you you can paint yourself into a corner. Mm-hmm. You can you can. There's like at least thirteen endings on some, on that thing, or at least ten, I believe. And there are also points where it's like if you just don't use your inventory properly, you're crapped out. You just you have to be like, oh, what can I do from here? Nothing. It's like the point you can try or, everything. Or the choose your own adventure books and it's yeah. like turn to page fifty one and then fifty one you're dead. The, impl- nah, the damn implication it. But that was just the beginning of the book. Save games. For those playing the game, move the plank on the beach. Well, there's a sparkly ring underneath. So what makes King's Quest, uh, King's Quest, sorry, King's it's, Quest Six? What makes it different than the previous five? So I mean, all every the all the point and click adventures come from like text adventure games, wherein wherein you have to like make like a series of decisions. Um, sometimes there's, it's there it's like a real time. You have to click a certain fast. Like there's there's a rhyming scheme. Like you get to it's dark as hell too. Uh, it live voice act, not live voice actor, but recorded voice actors. Even like the simulated pixelation. So there was still voice acting. What year? It's like early nineties and mid nineties. Mid, okay, mid so, oh, I full could, voice I acting, cutscenes. I feel like it's ninety. Could be like ninety four, ninety five. Mm. Uh, but then it's just like pixelated boxes moving. There's a story like, for for example, like you show up on a beach one time, and like the equivalents of like the. Uh, Seven Little Dwarfs come out, and you have to present each with an object uh, in order to survive on the island. And if you don't give them, present them the right object from different things, they're like a uh, guy with a big boot to smell. You have to like convince them that you're not that you're not a human, even because no one can like see right. And um, if you, if you mess boot. up, they just kill you. They just yeah. throw you. They just drown you in the ocean. It's but that was always such a hard mechanic, like especially before you know you could go online and actually Google like, hey, uh, which which gnome gets which treat? Like you know, I I remember playing Monkey Island, like Escape from Monkey Island, probably in like 1999. That thank God, that literally came with a book that walks you through the first three hours yeah. of that game. And if it didn't, I wouldn't know how to do anything because it's Mist so. came with one, and then yeah. I, I I asked my dad to lock it in our safe. <laughs> and I kept the journal. I guess that'll be number two, um, with a bullet. Uh, second game. Um, ah, the um, mist is. I mean, you play a dude or a woman. I'm pretty sure it's a dude, though. Could be. A, I could be an anthropomorphic you're spirit. You're just a guy in a bookshop. You're flipping around a book, and then all of a sudden, you're falling through an endless series of eternity. Really? <clears throat> and you land on an island. And as you walk around, again, we were talking about in one of our uh, recent past episodes, like uh, the walking around survival 
uh, sort of, uh, sorry, walking simulation games. Miss definitely, like, have absolutely wrote the book on that. Almost any time you look at it, it's just beautiful. Uh, you really had to be, you really had to employ some strategic thinking and try to figure out what was going on. I remember I had, I had to keep a journal. Then I ended up reading, like, the books that they published about, like, the mist. Like, fiction books, and, or was yeah, it also, like, the strategy guide like, books? You learn, like, it's, you learn about the, the ancient culture and history of the Denai, which is, like, D-apostrophe-N-I. And they were these people who were, like, Atris, who you find later in the game. And you, they would just create these worlds, and there was sort of this underground civilization, and it's sort of the story of... Oh, my God. I mean, as a kid... Just, dude, you, you get brought underground, and you're just trying to restart it. Another one's a huge, like, it's like a Star Trek episode where they find, like, a functioning book, and then they go in, and it's what? this beautiful glass castle, but then there's, like, it's huge slave culture and everyone's just horror, most like, fantasy uh, most fantasy realms and they lead a class have revolution. a big slave culture uh, and a big uh, <laughs> big class thing going on but the, um beyond that it's just a really fun game that it proves that you, you don't need you never needed to like kill anyone in a game it's just so deep too experience. like as a kid i didn't i thought it was just a monument simulator i thought i thought you're just supposed to like walk up to it and like hey that's that and now i could walk around because like though that's even if that was all the game was at that point it was still such a graphical achievement that <sighs> it blew minds and hearts the hardest you know? thing i've ever done up in, in gaming up to that point was there's a sequence when you're in like just this spaceship rocket looking thing that's off to the side and you have to like find a, like the right notes to put in like sort of this song that you have to sing musical, to just get you yeah. through it's ridiculous yeah and how, it's a and, nightmare and, I don't and know then, how people um, had the patience for this back in the but day but it's honestly. fun yeah I like a challenge because like, now you know, I get stuck in a game and I go on a YouTube let's play or possibly one of our YouTube streams I don't know why I would have to know how to beat that level again but you could watch one of ours say you were having trouble in a game and you want to see how to get past that level in uh, Turtles uh, in Mutants in Manhattan point being they had nothing like that now award. thank you uh, they had nothing like that then that if uh, if I got stuck and missed like I, I dude I literally didn't walk past the first place because I was like I don't even know if there's a game here it took me and then uh, t t on that note uh, the third game is Return to Zork in the Which, uh, in the Great Zork franchise did it come pre miss because I know Zork was the first text Ooh, adventure uh, Zork Return I, I believe to the first Zork, Zork was like eighty two definitely close. Return to Zork is again is like a very early nineties, early mid nineties game, uh, where you you wake up on a path. There's a crow. Uh, You're always just waking up in these adventure games. You're just there. Uh, it's sort of a that's continuation. Life. Every day you wake up is an adventure. Because they try to do like a pixelated like video of like the uh, visualization of what happens. Like you are standing outside of a White House to like the west. There's a path, and they show you the house, and then you go in. And all of a sudden, you're at this canyon. You have a wizard in a glass that comes up to tells you what to do. There's a lighthouse. There's a direction uh, that was like certain doom. If you go that way, mm -hmm. you gotta like fucking figure out what's going on with the lighthouse guy and then in the back i think he gives you a knife or you might start with a knife and you have to take the leaves off and you have to put the wood and tie the use the wood on the leaves so you can tie a raft so you can go to the creepiest fucking town that's ever existed ever there's just a guy there's like a creepy old schoolhouse lady there's an old guy who just wants to drink uh rye whiskey with you until you die <laughs> want some rye of course you do and you gotta like out drink him while but you're not drinking you have to like while he's doing his shot you have to pour your shot out in, the, the? into the um is this a deliverance simulator this, what is it's this? amazing like, and it's then so again zork. you're talking about like pictures of people and then like it'll cut to like weird close-ups with the mouths and then voice acting and stuff but then you're just learning about like this weird culture uh, it's, Zork it's is a fun. place. I'm sorry. Just Zork to, is not a state of mind. It's no. a place. Oh, it's definitely a state of mind. Mm. And I think in the later games, what's his face? Um, mm. uh, uh, the lead from Spinal Tap. Austin Powers. Right. No, sorry. Good lord. Um, the lead from Spinal Tap. He's uh, pretty much in every. Guest? No, I was going to say he's in every Christopher Guest. Michael uh, Madsen. No, nope. it's not Martin, Martin Mull. Oh my gosh, is it Martin Mull? We're losing all our comp. No, not Martin Mull. But I know who you're talking about. No, I know. He's got the face. Anyway, he does like uh, he plays like your uh, wizard in like a later game in like the later '90s or like early aughts, and he looks like there's like a whole Zork game where he's like sort of your Damn. compendium. Where's the Where's like the when, new uh, Zork? Where's Zork VR? Like when uh, Like when Eric Idle is in all those uh, Discworld games. Mm -hmm. Oh, Discworld's pretty cool because you know. It, Turtles on top of turtles. You know, that's life. Rinsewind. 
Wow. Deep. And the numbers we should never mention. We are getting nerdy, folks. So if you want to hear more nerdy stuff, make sure you check us out on HollywoodRedux.com. Hey, or our YouTube in. page. And also don't forget to check out other podcasts on our network, K-Files, Writer's Room. There's a link over here, probably. There's a man in we my right. You can check out our page, too. We got some old trailers, some cool, uh, if you want to see, uh, listen to some old movie scores. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do on HollywoodRedux.com. So make sure you subscribe below make sure you watch our videos over here or over there i'm justin gentile justin underscore gentile on twitter i am timothy mcgory you could tweet more mcgory's quest you could tweet more i could tweet more so i just had to get that in there you could tweet more i could tweet more thanks for watching folks make sure you check us out below like subscribe thank you very much for watching see you next time hey i did a letterman <laughs>